¿Qué onda, plebes? So earlier this week, I came across some unfortunate news regarding a PA program in Central California. A master's program at Cal State Monterey Bay is being shut down. According to the president's office, their Master of Science Physician Assistance Program has lost its accreditation. The program will shut down in May of 2024, which essentially affects all students, both the incoming cohort and the 56 students currently enrolled. In this video, I want to explain why the situation is unique and why you should carefully consider applying to a PA program that is on probation. ¿Qué onda, plebes? My name is Mario Navarro. I'm the Mexican PA, a recently board certified PA located in Southern California. If you find this type of content helpful, be sure to hit that like button below and consider subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it. Over the past few months, several PA programs have been placed on probationary accreditation status. This is not an uncommon occurrence and typically happens when the accrediting body, the ARC PA, identifies significant issues that need to be addressed. And so you might be wondering, what does this mean for a program to be on probation? The short answer is that a program on probation is still accredited, but it is a temporary status that lasts for at least two years. In the past, applying and attending a PA program on probation was seen almost like a yellow flag for students, indicating that there may be some deficiencies in either the educational quality or the PA program leadership. However, students who enrolled in these programs were generally assured that they would be able to complete their education and take the PANTS, the Physician Assistant National Certifying Exam, regardless of any accreditation changes after starting their program. If a PA program on probation fails to rectify the issues that placed them on probation in the first place, the ARC-PA reserves the right to actually shut down the program. In the past, when this has happened, the ARC-PA usually would allow the program to continue to teach out the remaining cohort so that students already enrolled could complete their education and set for the PAM. The news about the Cal State University Monterey Bay program being forced to shut down and leave essentially their incoming cohort and their current students without the opportunity to finish the program means that this matriculation guarantee is no longer the case. Matriculation refers to the process of starting your PA program as a new PA student. And the matriculation guarantee means that as long as your program is accredited, whether that's accreditation continued or accreditation probation, when you start that program, if it is accredited, you will be allowed to finish your program and sit for the pants. In my opinion, based on the recent actions of the ARC PA against the CSUMB PA program, PA programs on probation can no longer provide this matriculation guarantee, which means if you attend a program on probation, your education may be at risk at all times during that probationary period. So why was the Cal State University Monterey Bay PA program shut down? So it isn't clear at this point exactly why, and the most recent ARC PA report is not yet available on their website, but based on their accreditation history reports in their last review meeting in September of 2021 with CSUMB, there was a significant lack of evidence of the program's leadership, faculty, curriculum, and self-assessment process to ensure an adequate PA education. At that time, they were placed on probation, and I imagine during the most recent ARC PA visit that happened this past September, the program failed to meet those accreditation standards. The administration of the CSU and BPA program recently released this statement saying, in working through the impacts of the program closure, our top priority is to ensure that our students are supported in finding a path forward to complete their degrees. Our class of 2024 cohort of students will be able to continue their progress at CSUMB through the end of May and their degree will be counted as from an accredited program. We are currently working with our class of 2025 cohort to find alternative PA programs for them and we will be refunding deposits for matriculated individuals who had a plan to start the program in January 2024. So what does this all mean for you as a pre-PA student interested in applying to PA program? My perspective on this, and of course this is my own opinion, is that I would consider a program on probation to be a red flag and would personally recommend that you avoid applying, unfortunately, to such programs. Additionally, I want to warn you guys as well about another situation that may affect programs with complete accreditation known as accreditation continued. And just to put it in perspective, this is the highest level of accreditation that is granted by the ARCPA. If you are invited to interview at a program with this status, and they have an ARC PA review meeting scheduled between your interview date and the program start date, I would advise you proceed with caution. 
I offer this warning based on the unfortunate scenario this year involving the Western University of Health Sciences PA program located in Southern California. So students who were most recently accepted to start this year in the fall of 2023, they interviewed back in November of 2022 and were accepted and informed of that decision in March 2023. That same month, the ARC PA visited the school and did their review process. On June 29th, 2023, the school announced that the ARC PA had made its decision of changing their accreditation status from continued to probation. And as a result of that decision, the ARC PA was also restricting their ability to accept new students for the 2023-2024 academic year. This left their accepted students without a PA program seat and that means that they will essentially have to reapply and do the entire CASPA PA school application process all over again. To find out if a PA program has an ARC PA site visit scheduled, you can visit the official arc-pa.org website where each program will have a publicly available record listing the exact month and year of the next scheduled visit. If the visit is scheduled again between your interview date and the program start date, I would recommend you proceed with caution. Choosing a fully accredited program that does not have an upcoming accreditation review is likely the safest option compared to programs with an upcoming review that could potentially place you in a similar and what I think is an unfair circumstance as the students of Western University. It is important to remember that the ARC PA exists to maintain and enforce accreditation standards for PA programs, ensuring that PA students receive quality education and training. And with new programs opening up every year, I am not surprised that the ARC PA is coming down with an iron fist on the programs that are failing to meet their standards. Ultimately, it is essential for prospective students to do your research and look into each program's accreditation status and history. This has the potential to impact your education and future career. If you're a pre-PA, PA student, or practicing PA, what are your thoughts on this whole scenario? I'm interested in engaging in a uh, friendly discussion with you guys in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Animo Pleves.